Yeah, they're, they're great guys um, off the ice, and I thought uh, last game was they they both played pretty well. Um, you know, obviously there's some nerves coming into a new team and stuff like that, but I thought both of them played really well. They were physical. They they did their jobs, and and uh, yeah, Gio's a a great defenseman for a long time in this league, and uh, and Colin, uh, yeah, he's a he's a great player. He's a good energy uh, player, but he also has a lot of skill and um, and hidden skills. So I think he's a great add for us as well. Yeah, I think we just didn't we just didn't come to play that night, um, and you know they they got on top of us early and and they just ran with it. So um, yeah, you know these these points now are, are huge for us. We have 19 games left and we're going into the playoffs. So um, you know we, we'll remember what happened last time here. But um, yeah, we just gotta yeah we gotta play our game and, and get those two points because um, every point matters now. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've been playing with Maddie pretty much all year, and you know he's such an exceptional player. Um, you know, me, him, and Mitch have uh, you know gelled on the ice and off the ice. But yeah, I'm sh I'm sure you know Maddie wants to get to 50, and um, you know he's pretty close. So uh, the way he shoots it, the way he scores, um, pretty much every game. You know, there's no doubt in the team that he'll hit it. But um, yeah, I'm sure uh, you know. Hopefully that happens soon. That's that's huge. Like not a lot of people uh, do that. A lot of people play for a long time, but never hit 50, and um, that's that's quite uh, remarkable if he's able to do that. So that's, that that is a, a pretty big achievement. You know, yeah, obviously, you know, last game uh, we kind of. Yeah, we, it, it didn't go well, and it didn't didn't go our way. But um, you know, you just got to kind of put that in the past, and and I think our power play is still first in the league, and we have done a lot of good things on the power play. So you know, just a couple couple video sessions, and you know, you know, talk talk with your units, and I think you know we'll, we'll be just fine tonight. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, I think um, you know with uh, Lily over there. You know, he's he's a great player. He, he has a lot of skill, and he has a he has a good shot too. So, um, you know, I, I'm in front of the net, so I'll, I'll just be standing there, and hopefully, they'll be firing pucks, and and one goes in. So, I don't think anything really changes. We just go out there and and hopefully score. But if not, we we create um, some momentum for uh, when it goes back to five on five. He's he's very calm, cool, and collective. Uh, Shelley's uh, yeah, he doesn't show a lot of emotion, which I think is good for a, a goaltender, especially uh, in Toronto. So um, yeah, he's uh, he's a great guy. He's a great guy off the ice. I actually known him since uh, Tucson. He was there for a little bit with me. So um, yeah, he, he's a good dude, and I'm I'm really happy for the success he's having uh, with us. Was he the same same guy? Yeah, same guy. Same yeah, very calm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's quiet, but uh, once you you know open him up a bit, he's a pretty funny dude. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy for him. Yeah, we do. We actually, yeah, we keep in touch. We both came into the, the American League at the same time. I, I played with Dolph for for many years, and yeah, he's a great guy off the ice, and I, I'm really happy that he's you know he's gotten his shot um, to play in the NHL because I believe that he was a he was a really good American League player, and actually I think we played on a line with each other for for quite a quite a bit there too. So uh, yeah, no, I'm happy for him, and yeah, anytime we we've played against each other up here, we just kind of laugh and and give each other a wink, but then once we start going, it's all serious, but then we, we text each other after the game. So, uh, no, I'm really happy for him. You were a road warrior coming into this season, even more so this year, so much production on the road. Is there an explanation for that? <laughs> no, I, I, actually, there, I, I actually don't know. It's funny. I um, My dad actually texted me and saying, oh, you're going back on the road. That's good. And he just laughed, and he just and we just joked around like, yeah, I'm not really sure why it's like that, but it just happens it happened to be like that this year. But uh, yeah, no, I love playing at home and I love playing in front of the fans. But uh, right now, I'm just scoring more on the road, so I, I don't really know. <laughs> you, you've talked about how special it is to beat a, a, a Leaf, and you play against Montreal, which is the arch rival. Uh, uh, the fact that I think for the first time you'll play in front of a full house in a Montreal-Toronto rivalry, how much more will that mean to you? 
yeah, obviously it's Saturday night. Um, and it's hockey night in Canada, Saturday night. So it's going to be pretty cool, um, you know, to play Montreal in the Bell Centre. Obviously, you grow up in Toronto. You know that is one of the biggest rivalries that Toronto has. So, um, yeah, last, last time we were in here, I think it was only 50%, but it was still pretty loud. So I, I'm pretty excited to see how it is when it's 100% and all the fans are, are here cheering loud for, for the Habs. But hopefully, you know, we come up, <laughs> up on top. So, um, yeah, no, I think it's going to be a pretty cool night. Yeah, it definitely uh, will be uh, pretty cool. Hopefully, I can you know I can get over that hump to, to get to 50. But yeah, no, I didn't I didn't come in this year thinking um, you know I'd be you know producing like this. I thought I I, I just really wanted just to help this team win. But um, you know, obviously, you know, having individual success is, is a good thing too. So yeah, I'm happy with my season, and I just kind of hope I can uh, keep it rolling this way. Yeah, like like I was saying earlier, every every single point matters. Like especially, you know, yeah, tonight this is a, is a big game. Every every single game now, actually going into the the playoffs is, is is a big game just because all four of us are so close, and it's really up it's up for grabs for anybody in this division to, you know, to go to one spot or even go to the wild card. So, um, yeah, it's uh, every game is basically a playoff game from now on out.